it, <clears throat> it helps a lot if uh, you want to learn how to use RSBA1 to ask some questions on Zello. A lot of us listen there, some of us listen there, I do. And you start by going to Zello.com and if you go here to Zello.com personal downloads, let me back up and show you how I got here. I started off at uh, Zello.com which is here and uh, first thing you do is you say I want to sign in and you want to sign in to personal and so you say account sign in and then it's going to ask you for your username but if you don't have one you have to download Zello to uh, create an account in the Zello program itself so they have one for the iPhone, they have one for the Android, and they have one for the PC. So you can get, if you have the iPhone, go to uh, the uh, store, the iPhone uh, apps store. Here you go to the Play Store, and here you just downloaded right directly. And if you start here, and you click on Zello for a PC, you will be able to get Zello set up, stick it wherever you want to and install it. So after you get it installed, if you're on the Windows machine, let me uh, pause this and I'll bring up uh, Zello after I've installed it, show you what to do next. So when you bring up the account, I do have some already. I'm not going to use uh, my account here. I'm going to say I need to create a new account. That's what you're going to do. And what you're going to want to do is, the best way to do it is put in your call sign. Probably all uppercase would be good. Put in a password that you can remember. Confirm it. And then enter your email address and they will do some confirmation with you by email address. You can put in that uh, Gmail or Yahoo or whatever address you have. And then you'll click on Next. And you'll create your own account. Once you've done that, when next time you run Zello, you'll be able to sign in. Now I have, you can have more than one account if you want to. I've got a few of them here, but uh, the one I use most is uh, my call, W6FCC. It knows my password, and so I say sign in. Now I don't have to sign in when Zello starts, um, and I don't need to run it when the computer first starts but you can handle that however you want to. Once you sign in, and it should be signing me in now. Let me put this other screen uh, smaller. I should be signed in by now. What is it telling me? Username or password is incorrect. Well, let me pause this and put in the right password. Hang on. It's always something when you forget your passwords. So you go ahead and you sign in and then you would uh, come over here and the first thing you probably want to do is go to contacts and try out the echo you'll find it down here you click on echo now that it's highlighted this button down here is a temporary you just push the left mouse button and talk testing one two testing, testing one, one two, two. Uh, this button here will lock the transmit key it's like a push to talk button with the lock on it so I would click it and I take my hand off the uh, mouse here and I'm checking this and then I unkey and, and I, take I take my, my hand, hand off the, the uh, mouse, mouse here and I'm checking, checking this and then I unkey okay then what you're going to want to do is to search for a group that you want to join let me pause this. so in the tools you bring up the tools here you can add a channel so you click on add a channel and you look for the channel name and to start with, try A-R-S-Z-E-L-L-O, Amateur Radio Station Zello, and say Next. And here it is, a talk about radios and what have you. Channel found, you should find that next. And then uh, the owner is me, and you can go ahead and sign on and say Next. And now the channel has been added. And now you look in Contacts, and in contacts you're going to find that ARS Zello in here somewhere where is it oh it's here somewhere here it is 
So you click on this and now you're ready to talk. You key here and you talk and unkey over here. If you want to see who's on the channel, you can go ahead and right click on that and you can see who's online. Right now I'm online because I'm a moderator. And then Rich, WZ2D, is online. I don't know if Rich can hear me. Let's see. Uh, hey, Rich, are you listening on ARS Zello? We'll see if he comes back. He might be listening and he might not be. But that's the thing, and it works similarly on your IO. I'm here, Jeff. Jeff I'm just, just getting around to put putting those resistors in. in. Holy cow. I thought I was, was going to have to wear three pairs of glasses. glasses. And then and this is a bad place to be doing it up here. here. I, I should be downstairs where I can put the spotlight right on the, the in order to, to look at the colors correctly and so on and so forth. But that, I got it down. It's pretty easy. Um, I'm, I think I'm putting the last resistor. No, I got a few more resistors to put in. And then uh, I'll put the capacitors in after that. And uh, I'll, I'll lay them down on the board after I get them in. And just, uh, you know, stick the wires in through and just, you know, uh, push, push them up close against the board so it stays like that until I get time to solder. I splay the wires out away from the side, away from the plate through holes so they won't fall back in. You, you get them so they're offset slightly so you can put a clip lead on them if you need to. You don't want them right against the board. And you can put a test lead on there and then... Uh, you you bend them, you know, splay the wires out a little bit, and then it makes it easy to solder. Um, told you to use a voltmeter or an, or an ohmmeter to check those resistors. I wouldn't go by just by the color codes. I'm doing a little video here about how to use Zello, so you go back to that. I'm going to finish up this video. Yeah, what I'm going to do, Jeff. I, so far, I I can identify the colors. I got the pairs of thick glasses on. Um, but before I do any soldering at all, uh, I will check them with a ohmmeter against the schematic. Um, this is a nice, a nice uh, PDF that you got here, so I'm not having any problem. It's just a little bit slow. They're, they're really, really small, it's small stuff. So I'm just not used to doing it. But I'll get it all laid out. Now, did you just tell me that you, you raised the, the, uh, the resistors up off the board a little bit so that you could actually put te a test lead, a test on it, or test lead on it. Yeah, about half the length of the resistor, or a little shorter, but enough to clip on a lead. So, uh, Mrs. Riley, do you need a thicker set? For this job, I need a thicker set. <laughs> yeah. See, I, I. I mean, your idea is a good idea, but with the way I used to test, when I used to test something that was flat against the board like uh, like these are, or like these could be, I just use a pin. I hook the test lead to a pin, you know, so a baby pin, diaper pin, whatever you call it, and so I, could, I do it that way. So six of one, half a dozen of another, I guess. Well, the probes that I have for my scopes and what have you all have those little tiny hooks on them. So you need to be able to hook the lead. It's easier. Okay, let me get back to my movie. Keep working. A little while longer, then I'm gonna eat dinner. Okay, bye. Adios. Okay, so that's how you can use ARS Zello to uh, talk to somebody. If there's a longer group of people here, you'll see them in this list. Um. But this is a good program to get, and you can ask questions, and I can see already uh, we've helped an awful lot of people set up RSBA1 over here, and uh, so this is the way to start, and we use both the uh, Android phones, which work really well, and the uh, iOS, I have, an I, I have an iPhone and an iPad, it all works really well. So get yourself a copy of ARS Zello, and you can run it on anything, and uh, create your your contact then you remember go here to tools and you add a channel and you find the you channel don't have to respond, but and I'm going to get the old meter uh, the first two resistors were easy <laughs> the the rest of them I'm going to have to use the old meter all right you're up to answer well that's only if you want it to work okay I'll talk to you later 
All right, that's it, W6FCC. It's uh, November 14th, 2019.